Welcome everybody to this video. Did you know that you can merge or combine multiple videos into one only using Apple's own QuickTime player? I mean, you could do it using something else, but you only need QuickTime player to do this. Let me show you how. So I've got two video files here in my folder. I've got one about cycling, one about cooking. First, open up one of the videos you want to merge and I'll go for the cycling one. I'll make this window a bit smaller so I can see my folder in the background. Just to show you this is a video, here is some people cycling. Now, all you need to do is click on the other video and drag it into the player. And you can see it automatically suggests where you can drop your second video on the timeline. I'll click play again and the cycling video seamlessly goes over to the cooking video. If you're happy with it, just click done. When you close QuickTime Player, it will ask you if and where you want to save your video. Just enter a name. You can choose the file size as well. I'm going for a smaller file size. And I'll click Save. Give it a few seconds and the video is saved to the location that I chose. Let's try this again. So I'll open up the cycling video again. And this time I'll drag and drop the cooking video to the start of the timeline. So it comes before the cycling video. This is to show you that it doesn't matter which video you open up first and which one you drag and drop. Any video can go into any position and this also works with more than two videos. I'll click done. I'll give a video a name. I'll choose the location and click save. Now let me just find the video and open it to see if it actually worked. And here we have it. It works perfectly. You can of course now combine this new video with infinitely more videos. Thanks for watching the video. Hopefully you found it useful. If so, please subscribe to my channel, like the video for more top tech tips.